and I'm joined with the homie Contact right here, right now. What's good, man? Hey, how's it going, Jenny? I'm good, man. Good to hear from you again. How are you? How are you? How are you been? Man, I've been doing real good. Been doing real good, despite uh, you know everything that's been going on this uh, past year. I've uh, just been uh, you know keeping my head above the water. Yeah, sticking to work and making music. That's what's up, man. And uh, you sent me the song that's going to be featured on your next project. Um, no reference is the name of the song, and I played it for the first time just moments ago. And I'm like, ooh, snap! This dude right here! Contact <laughs> going in! Yeah, okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, 2021's so, going to be a, a whole new different look for me. Yeah, so that's, that's dope, man. No reference. So, with that, being, that. with that being said, let's just dive right in into it. Um, for, so for what you told me, that this is like this is gonna be like your first release, like a single. Um, um, what what what's your plans for the No Reference joint? So uh, No Reference is gonna be going on my uh, album called Making Contact, and uh, it's gonna be about 13, 14 songs, and uh, it's gonna be my first official uh, solo project. You know, I've uh, I've done a couple projects in the past with uh, Jay Menace. And uh, the project lacks, but uh, with this one, I wanted to uh, just uh, have uh, minimal features on it and just it'd be mostly just myself and just, uh, you know, coming in a whole new different direction and just uh, showing people uh, what I got. All right, that's what's up. Um, there's another song you have that's most likely going to be on the project, um, The Panda Joint. Um, with yourself yeah. and Trez Orlin, um, an artist that has Kentucky ties. Um, he, um, from my understanding, he's, yeah. he lives in Illinois currently. Um, yeah. So, and that's a total different track compared to No Reference. Very, very edgy type of joint. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Well, uh, the diversity on this project is uh, something else. I've, with every single beat, that I chose with it and that I purchased along with it. It's a good, it tried to do like a different kind of style with it. You know, show the, show the versatility and diversity. You definitely showing some, some versatility. Um, so when it comes to collaborations, um, I've, you got a lot of friends in hip hop, obviously a lot of talented, yeah. like, uh, Ayo Kami, uh, Walt Trey Clay, um oh yeah you know just to name a few like <laughs> how do you decide as far as who's gonna be on what song is it like yo man i got a beat that you, you can do um like how does how does that process work for you as far as like who do you think will be a good fit for a, a certain record well see it, it really depends on the the kind of style of beat and uh how i want to approach it depending on who I'll uh, have for the feature on it. I know with uh, Ayo Kami, uh, I'm having him produce most of the songs on the album. I think uh, he, he produced seven songs, or eight eight songs on the album. And then I'm going with uh, Produced by Jeff, another uh, Lexingtonian, who's uh, going to be doing the last four or five. So I'm yeah. just trying to uh, you know, stay local and get as many good, you know, custom exclusive beats I can. And as far as, you know, who I get on the track, I just try to think about, you know, what they can do as an, as an artist and you know, how I know how to approach a beat and what kind of style and if they can uh, mold into their style as well. So I get the, the best possible joint. That's what's up. Um, that's definitely a unique song. Um, but the panda joint, and um, you definitely, you know, showing some versatility. You definitely come a long way these last couple of years. Like I'm definitely seeing more, hearing more confidence in you. You know, on the mic, just um, a lot of good content you're putting out there. Um, you definitely showing some good strides. Uh, 
So you mostly release your music on through SoundCloud. You know, some people embrace themselves being a SoundCloud rapper, so SoundCloud artist. Uh, yeah, how do you, I like how to think of myself as one of people. Yeah. So, um, as far as SoundCloud, like, how do you feel about that as a as a platform? As far as you know, just putting your music out there, and it's it's definitely it's what's very unique about it is that I noticed throughout the years is that not only you can release music, but you can share other music and put it in your profile. That's you know, you're not getting it on Spotify or Apple Music unless I guess you put songs on playlists. But artists fair that an artist can share another artist's music on the page. Like, how would you best describe SoundCloud for people that may not be familiar with it? Oh, well, in the past recent years, SoundCloud has uh, changed quite a bit. They've actually. Uh made it to where if you're a pro unlimited member now, which I think it's like thirteen dollars a month, you can uh actually through SoundCloud upload and monetize your soundtracks and upload them to Spotify and Apple Music and all the other kind of uh distribution networks. And so it's really been uh been helping kind of like diversify the profile and make it to where you don't need to go through each and one every different link and upload individually. You can just do it one through SoundCloud and network it to all the uh all the different distribution networks which is amazing and you know soundcloud it's uh, on the app or on the computer it's, it's really easy to use you can just go to a profile type in the artist's name and more likely will pop up in the first five searches if it's not a very popular name and you know it's, just, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a it's a great program to use for you know underground artists that are trying to get themselves out there so yeah for me I kind of been on and off with SoundCloud, but the, once I sh started to support local music, as artists like Walter Trey Clay and Ayo Kami kind of wear me back into SoundCloud. And then I started to hear you and a plethora uh, and Trez and, and other artists and um, whatever works for people, man, whatever works for them as far as getting their music out, man. It's good. Like and with this pandemic and uncertainty, um, like people wondering how can people support artists during this pandemic, I say go purchase their music, go buy the merch and and also share the music through your social media feeds. Um, that's right. something I take prior of that. Um, and oh yeah, you uh, you're definitely at the forefront of Lexington of uh, staying on top of all the local artists and uh, sharing and broadcasting and giving anybody that wants a platform a platform. And you know, I thank you for that, Kenny. You know, throughout the years, I've interviewed with you, I think two different times, and yeah, you know, I, I can't I can't thank you enough for the uh, all the work that you do for all the local local Lexington artists. You're definitely at the, at the forefront of helping everybody get exposed. I have to give thanks to RJ Meads. Um, he kind of um, inspired me to promote people's music through social media. You know, once upon a time, he had a website, rjmeads.com. That was the number one source yes. for Kentucky hip hop. Um, not only I've heard people's music through there, but I became friends with artists because of that website. So it was just, um, it, I missed that website. I wish RJ was still doing it. Um, but he's moved on to other things and, um, he's doing, he's like promoting boxing and MMA now. Um, so he's, uh, he's doing his thing. So I guess I kind of, Took his spot as far as promoting hip hop. The torch had to be the I guess I don't know if he gave me the torch, but I'm like, you know what? I'll just take matters in my own hands. <laughs> uh, so, well, I can tell you, there's a, there's nobody else I'd prefer to yeah. be in your spot than you. Yeah. So, 
So shout out to RJ. Um, keep doing your thing, and uh, and uh, you know, hopefully, he'll be inspired to bring it back. Uh, because there's still some artists that I miss out on, and I guess that's the thing. Like supporting local music is it's definitely a mystery thing. Like I'm, I'm still see. I'm on Facebook every day. I scroll down, and see who's out there, who's got music out. So, um, right. So, making contact. That's the name of your project. Um, okay. um for people that's been listening to your music um, throughout the years, how do you feel about this record? As far as you know putting it out there um, for people to hear, right? What what should people expect for contact on this record? Uh, man, they can expect uh, the best project that I've ever done. I, the, the, the songs I've recorded so far and I've gotten written, it's my it, it's the best work I've done and it's most my most favorite work I've ever done. It's something that I can look back on throughout the whole process and think of, and just be proud of it, you know. It was, it was something, you know, as far as just you know, writing, recording, getting everything done and mixed. It's it's the the work that I'm most proud of. And you know, don't get, I'm proud of the work I've done before, but the project that I'm working on now will blow anything I've ever done out of the water, and it'll truly show my growth throughout the years. And uh, you know, show that I've been working on my my lyricism and my flows, something heavy the past two years. And I feel like within this project, it'll it'll really show my growth to anybody that's uh, been here since day one. So with uh, no reference song, um, as in, in making contact, um, do you have a release date for as far as when would this music be out? Uh, I don't have a set release date yet. No, I still have to uh, get a couple beats in and do some do some writing and some recording. But uh, I'm doing uh, a majority, a lion's share of the recording over at Nishio with Ayo Kami, and um, you know he's he's producing like I said most of the album, and he'll be uh, engineering most of the album as well. Uh, Panda was one that I uh, I recorded myself and uh, engineered myself. And uh, with Trace's verse, he had uh, his engineer do his verse. But as far as as far as it goes, I'm trying to stay just uh, between myself and Ayo Kami. Gotcha, gotcha. So um, go ahead and uh, promote your social media links and um, give us the the official SoundCloud link as far as where can people hear your music. Oh yeah, on SoundCloud it's just contact C O N T A C K. Uh, I'm on Facebook, official contact spelled the same, and um, Instagram is uh, L T O underscore contact. And I'm trying to keep it uh, all my links just official contact. Just so uh, you know, profile pictures right now is going to be the uh, the panda logo. So I'm trying to uh, promote that something heavy to build more hype for the album. You definitely go uh, go check out the Panda Joint with Trez. That's on his SoundCloud page right now. Go listen to it and be on the lookout for the debut project, um, a full-length album for Contact, Making Contact. And I get, you know, if you got an Apple iMac like I do, like, they don't, you try to spell Contact and they want to put a T instead of a K, but it is indeed contact. And so make sure you put that K in there at the end. Um, because mm -hmm. the, the spell check on going Yeah, spell check will get you. Spell check will get to you pretty much. <laughs> um great chatting with you again. Um thanks for sending that no reference uh joint. Yes, sir. And uh, I definitely enjoy that. I like the panda joint. And I look forward to hearing more music from you. And um, we're making contact. Um, and just keep doing your thing, man. Appreciate you. Um, have a happy new year. Safe weekend and to okay. you as well. Thanks again for your time. Appreciate you very much, Tony. Hope you have a great new year. All right, man. You have a good night. All right.
Hey, you too, man. Have a good one. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. And that was.